In Batman Arkham Asylum, we really wanted Batman to face the worst night of his life. The story is probably one of Batman's biggest challenges. While delivering the Joker back to Arkham, Batman finds himself in the middle of essentially a prison riot, which has been orchestrated by the Joker to specifically happen when Batman is returning him to the asylum. The whole thing is a massive setup, and it's Batman alone against an army of criminals, psychotics, and supervillains. Begging to be slaughtered. We wanted to create a game that was in a dark, gritty environment, and Arkham Asylum really lends itself to that. And Arkham Asylum as well is such a critical location in the history of the Batman universe. It's such a kind of central heartbeat where everything passes through. Gotham is a unique city, and it's populated by unique supervillains. And you just can't send these guys to a regular jail. You need something that's got a, a location that matches their twisted nature. So Arkham Asylum was created as this hospital for the criminally insane, and only the worst and the craziest of the criminals were sent there. We looked at who were the coolest villains that we really wanted to be in the game. Being at Arkham Asylum made it quite easy to put all of them in if we wanted. Uh, then we looked at what would make the best gameplay, what would please the fans, started there and then just went for it. Kind of like an ultimate Batman fighting scenario. So you're going to put him in a box, even if it's a, a relatively huge box, and fill it with threats he just can't escape from, his worst enemies of all time. The most violent, most unhinged, most nasty criminals he can fight. 